Hello everyone and thank you for watching my casual health channel. In today's video, I took a trip back home to Singapore in late April, attending the FHA or Food Hospitality Asia 2024 at the Singapore Expo to make some business connection. In addition to attending the food event, I shared with you six days but worthy Instagrammable eateries and a trip to Museum of Ice Cream Singapore for some educational fun time. So I hope this video might pique your interest if you are planning to visit Singapore. Let me start by breaking down location by MRT station so it's easier to navigate your way. First, I start with my visit to Lo Shang, which means upstairs in Cantonese and Mandarin as well. It's just a few minute walk from the Bulldog MRT Station or the Bulldog MRT Station and it's near the Singapore Management University and directly opposite the School of Art or in short SOTA on Princess Street. The entrance to Loshang is very interesting as it resembles an elevator. To enter, you need to press the button. Once inside, the design replicates the 1980s, 90s HDB Flats Corridor, a communal walkway which used to be a lively scene, where neighbours would put tables and chairs outside, talking and sharing food while their children played. These are fond memories I had during those years. Here is an excellent spot for brunch, offering a fusion of Singaporean favourites with a unique twist, and it turns into a bar at night. But don't forget to do a reservation before you come. Upon seeking advice, I began with just a nature coffee, ice pandan kaya coffee latte, and rainbow roti. The latte is complex, but yet somehow it blends well. The roti rainbow is a homage to a twist to Singapore's Malaysian well known breakfast or brunch food that is toasted bread with butter and kaya, accompanied by a soft boiled egg. At Loshang, the rainbow roti comes with toasted rainbow bread, two soft-boiled eggs, and four sweet dips made of chocolate, strawberry, pandan, and condensed milk. Next, for the main course, I ordered their recommended jumbo crab and ricotta ravioli, which come with a chili crab sauce, another twist on Singapore's well-known seafood dish. Last for dessert, I had their signature jam biscuit, Comprised of a grey mousse, vanilla creme brulee, and vanilla chiffon cake. This dessert was a delightful nod to one of my favourite biscuits, the jam biscuit, that you can see here in this video. The next place, if you are visiting Fort Canning Park, which is rich in history and heritage, do visit Tiong Bahru Bakery located at the foothill. It's just a 5 minute walk from the Fort Canning MRT station. Here is known for baking fresh croissant every 2 hours. The bakery is less crowded on weekdays, offering a serene atmosphere for indoor or outdoor dining. They serve a variety of accessories and bakery items. I ordered a smoked salmon with cream cheese and iced latte, after which I explored the park. Next is Tanjung Pagar MRT Station. Tanjung Pagar is a mixed development area that includes iconic old shop houses famous for their restaurants, cafes and bar scenes. It also features office buildings, shopping malls, high-end hotels like Sofitel, a residential HDB estate, complete with a market. Here, I brought my friends who were visiting with me from Phnom Penh to experience the three eateries. First, we visited Great Nanyang, a restaurant with several locations in Orchard Road and the suburbs area. This particular location is situated in an old shop house, making it a perfect for Instagram photos. Besides its aesthetic appeal, the restaurant serves a mix of classic Chinese and Malay street food style of the dishes along with some new cuisines options. At Great Nanyang, I enjoy my favourite iced Hainan coffee while my friend ordered a hot version and another juice coconut coffee. For food, we share several dishes. 
This includes two types of mee siam, one with beef rendang and another with fried chicken. We also had toaster bread served with sulfur eggs, garlic bread, and Hong Kong style French toast. Next, we went to Champion Bolo, which is just a few minute walk from Great Nanyang. Bolo bun, also known as pineapple bun or bolo pao in Cantonese, are a sweet, soft, and buttery Chinese bakery classic. Here, I got to know that Champion Bolo is also the world's first Bolo Bao Cafe concert. Our final stop at Tanjung Baga is the Mamun Pantry at PS100. I've been a patron since they opened in 1999. They are known not only for their fusion hot food, but also for their dessert. Their sticky toffee pudding, lemonata cupcakes, and delicious carrot cake are noteworthy. It's an excellent spot for brunch, lunch, and high tea. Next place, if you are an ice cream lover, interested in ice cream history, you might want to consider visiting the Ice Cream Museum in Singapore which is only accessible by taxi or grab. Or if you are planning to visit the Singapore Botanical Garden, you can also visit the museum. The quickest way, however, is to take grab from the Botanical Garden MRT station. Uh, strawberry. <laughs> the ice cream museum makes an excellent destination for children's activity or for your cruise day. Beside indulging ice cream throughout your visit, it's a great place to capture Instagram-worthy photos with the ice cream art installation. Last but not least, I saved this for the last because I live in Ishun. It's located at the northern part of Singapore. So, at this location, whenever I need a quiet place for breakfast or to do some work, I like to visit Slovak. It's located at Ishun Central within the Tutsi Humanistic Youth Center. This Queen Cafe in Ishun serves fresh and meat vegan, gluten free bakes like sourdough naturally leaven soft loaf and buns. They are also known for their kayang, but for today's video, I opted for a slice of pumpkin sourdough with almond butter spread and iced milk coffee. If you are looking for an Instagramable place with a great bakes, away from the city center, consider visiting Slow Bake on your next trip. Watch this video for direction on how to get there. So that concludes today's video about my recent trip to Singapore. I will definitely visit more places when I return home. If you like this video, please subscribe and like. Until the next video, enjoy eating and drinking.